Hi everyone, John Falls from back here at uh, EADG4 headquarters, which is about uh, 40 minutes south of Chicago's Loop in the mighty Soldier Field. Today's June 10th, 2016, and uh, we're going to tackle some uh, some uh, interesting areas, which I've wanted to do for a while, and that's why we're at the uh, a EADG4 headquarters, far, far away. Um, how do you use the modal system with the 12-bar blues? How do we use the modal system with the 12-bar blues? All right, now, beginners, hang on. Intermediate, hang on. If you don't know anything, you're going to learn something. Trust me. All right, 12-bar blues is a, uh, a form of music that's uh, 12 measures, and you use basically three chords. I'm going to use the key of A because of the sharp factor. Um, here's a A major scale, right here. Most common A is, I would say, on the E string, fifth fret. I'll play the A major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it's a root, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now with the blues, the blues, we have to realize that there's notes coming in that aren't in this scale. So we make room for them. Number one would be a flat third. So you take this C sharp, and if you don't know your notes, learn them, and we flat it. So now we have a C in, in this mix. It's in our tonal center, which is A. So now we have the C and the C sharp. We don't eliminate notes. There's no elimination. So now we got a C natural, which is a blue note, and the C sharp in the key. We move on to the D. We're gonna to go to an E. We go to the major six, which is F sharp. Now, our second blue note right now is gonna be a G, a flat seven. So you take the major seventh, you flat it, and it becomes a G. So now you don't lose the G sharp, the major seventh, you keep them both, they're, they're all in the game. So you got your minor third. There's the flat fifth I just played, but I'm so I might as well incorporate that flat fifth too. That is considered a blue note, the flat fifth. That is your blue scale. Okay, now the chords are dominant seven chords or basic chords. So my first chord is called a one chord because it's the first note in the scale. Major chord is root third and fifth. A, C sharp, E. That's a basic chord. Now, dominant seven chords are implied at all times, so you can play one anytime. The dominant seven chord, it's got the flat seven in it. And that's a blue note. That gives us that sound of the blues. We want that flat seven. We want to use it. You're not going to use the major seven, the G sharp. You're going to play a dominant seven. So it's A, C sharp, E, G everywhere on the bass. A, C sharp, E, G. That chord sounds like this on the bass. If bass players want to learn this shape, it'd be good. Leave the E string out for your chords. You play your root on your A string, play your major third and your flat seven. A, C sharp, G. That's a great sound. That's what the guitar players and keyboard players are strumming. So we want to know that. There's a G. Okay. Now, back to A. Our next chord is going to be called the four chord because it's the fourth note of the scale. So that fourth note becomes a chord. That's where we get our chords from the key. And it's a D note. Same major chord, root third, fifth. Any order, D, F sharp, A. Know these notes everywhere on the bass. Do your best. And now we're going to add, we can imply at all times another flat seven, a dominant seven chord. Root three, five, flat seven. D, F sharp, A, C. So now if we go back to the key of A, which we're in, you notice that C natural, which was the flat third, is a blue note, becomes the flat seven of D. It's in the chord now. When we don't use the C in the A chord, the A dominant seven chord is A, C sharp, E, G. 
so we use the flat 7 to G. Remember that C is the flat 3rd, G is the flat 7 in the key of A. C is the flat 3rd, G is the flat 7. Now they're, now they're, they're used as chord tones. The G, the flat 7 is used as the flat 7 is the 1. Now we go to our D chord, where do we use our C? The C becomes the flat 7 of D. Right there. There's your arpeggio. D, F sharp, A, C. Now here's the D7. You just play it right here. See? Root, 3, flat 7. Okay. And then our last chord, which is E, the 1, 4, 5. You take go to the fifth note. It's an E major chord, so you got E, G sharp, B. These notes are in the key of A. Key of A has three sharps, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. Here's F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. Memorize them in that order, in the circle of fifths order. There's three sharps in A, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. Now, back to E, the five chord. We go E, G sharp, B. Now, dominant seventh is the D. All these notes are in the key of A. So no notes are altered here. Your dominant sevens. E, G sharp, B, D. Play them anywhere on the bass you want. Okay. Now, how do we use how do we use the modes? How do we become a modal player with blues? Very easy. There's one mode that has these four notes in it. There's only seven notes in a key, by the way. We're using four in this chord. A, C sharp, E, G. Well, that's the Mixolydian mode. So you would use the Mixolydian mode on the one chord now, not the major scale. That's straight diatonic. That means we're not using the blues. Get your Mixolydian on the one. Doesn't mean you don't can't play the major seventh. It's used a lot. You just add it. As a, but it's not a dominant note. Your dominant note you want to play is that G. See, you got that. You heard that? This is early rock and roll. Now you go to the four chord. Got that. You use the mixolydian again on the four. So the mixolydian mode is used on the one, the four, and the five. Pretty easy if you break it down like that which you should. You got the mixolydian on the one, on the four, same. Mixolydian on the four, that's what you're gonna use to compensate for that flat seven. We need the, we want that flat seven involved. So it's, it's got those minor notes clashing into the major scale. They're in now, now they're in. They come in, boom, and that's the sound of the blues. You got them, they're in there. But you don't lose any notes, you don't eliminate. You just break it up in the, in the, in the, in the, I break them up in the seven note patterns using the mode. So when I get here on the D, I'm thinking Mixolydian. Plus you can use your, use your major seven too, which is if you, if you, if you don't know the modes, I got, it did a series on it right before here. Usually you play the Lydian on the four, but now we're playing blues. And another thing about the four chord, you got a G natural too. So when you go to a mixolydian on the four chord, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, we got both blue notes in this D mixolydian. Remember, we're in the key of A, the two blue notes are C and G. C and G, C and G, C and G, C and G, very important. So we go to uh, D, you play a mixolydian mode, you got D, E, F sharp, G. There's one blue note already, you're using the G. Keep going, you got your A, B, and now your other. You got both blue notes in your four chord. That's that's what the mode you want to use on the four. You got both blue, both blue notes. Now, you can, you can add your sharp four, which is from the Lydian mode, right here. You heard that. And then you can use your major six, flat seven, and your major seventh in mode and then all of a sudden we got that's why that makes sense root three four sharp four five six flat seven seven eight because they're all in the 
in the blue, the major blues tonal center of A. And you take that everywhere on the bass, drop it below, D, F sharp, G, which is the perfect fourth. A lot of, this is called a shout bass line in gospel. You just take that, and that's why it works so well. It's all in that blues tonal center. Boom. Now, let's go to our five chord E. Any E you want, but we're going to use right here. We're going to stay close. We just use our uh, Mixolydian mode anyways. It's The five is the Mixolydian mode. So we go to five, we use the Mixolydian mode again. Okay, so first thing to remember about 12-bar blues or 8-bar blues, Mixolydian's most important on the one, four, and five, which would be A is the one, D is, D is the four, E is the five. Okay? Anyone on the bass. Now, let me just do a little little groove on uh, A using the blues, blues form. Uh, you've got to know the blues form, kind of like where the chords form. I'll just kind of go through something. I'm just going to use the Mixolydian mode and just make up a bass line. I might improvise. But again, see the, see the, see what's happening. One, two, on A. See, I'm going root. Eight flat seven five. This is the Mixolydian mode. I know this. So four. See, boom. Back to the one five. Five. See now I'm just taking the bass line using what I was showing you. Part of the bass. Five. Okay. Now you see that you want to be able to move. Again, I was using the Mixolydian mode on each one, but I'm also adding in, keeping that C and G together. Now, I gotta, I got to um, show you how the modes shift too with the blues. Now, again, your two blue notes are C and G, the flat third, flat seven. Now watch. That leaves us in the key of A, if we want to just focus on the blue notes, that leaves us with this. And I'm going to take the C. I'm going to leave the C sharp out. I'm going to keep the major six and the flat seven. So if you recognize that sound, and I'll tell you, it's called the Dorian mode. Root, two, flat, three, four, five, six, flat, seven, eight. So if I play the Dorian mode on A, which I want to do, definitely all the time know about it, because that's where all these riffs come from. That's inside of, uh, got the six there. You want that six there. Because the minor pentatonic scale, which a lot of guys use, all that is, is, that's inside the Dorian mode. You're actually inside the Dorian mode, whether you know it or not, or like it or not. So that minor pentatonic scale is actually from the Dorian mode. You're leaving out the second and the major sixth, that's all. And if you add the flat fifth, which a lot of people call the blues scale, it's not really a, the, the blues scale, it's a blues, it's used in the blues. It's a blues scale that can be used. It's, it's really a minor pentatonic with the flat fifth. But again, that's inside the Dorian mode. Make sure you know that, that that blue scale, that everyone refers to it, you want to know is the minor pentatonic with the flat fifth, because the blue scale is the root two, flat three, three, four, flat five, five, six, flat seven, seven, eight. This is in my book. This is in my blue section of the book. All in my book, EADG4. But, oh, I'm, this is my book, EADG4. Theory textbook for the bass guitar. It's been out since I released it on June 3rd, uh, 93. It's been updated. I've updated it several times with heavier content, deeper, like again, getting heavier and heavier. Now remember the blue scale is root two, flat three, major three. You don't lim you don't eliminate. Four, flat five is a blue note. Six Five, sorry, five, major six, flat seven, major seven, eight. 
and that's the blue scale. This is the minor pentatonic scale with the flat fit, which is actually inside the Dorian mode. It'd probably be better if you know the Dorian mode, to tell you the truth. And you can add the flat fifth too. So if this is the Dorian mode, and I'm going to get this, uh, we're going to do, got Dave down here in the uh, headquarters, down, I think we've gone so deep, I don't even know how far, I can't even see daylight right now. Uh, it's, it's pretty dark, uh, it's actually about noon Chicago time. But it seems like it could be three in the morning here. We're 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 heavy. We're way down. Um, but uh, we have got to. Uh, okay, let's go back to that Dorian. I gotta I gotta put this in because I'm gonna do this in the next video heavier now. But again, if you're playing a Dorian mode on it, we're in the, we're in the key of A blues. A major. They call it A major. It's A major blues. You got the flat seven. You can just tell. If you play a Dorian mode on A, the Dorian is the second mode. So if the Dorian is the second mode, we go down to G, a whole step. Now we are on the G major scale. Which is actually a great scale to play in the key of A blues. Because now we're using G, a blue note, and A, a B, a C, your other blue note, D, E, F sharp, and G. F sharp's key note. Notice the F sharp's always there. Dorian mode, four chord, we go there, we go to the Mixolydian mode, now watch this, one more mode, and then I'll wrap this up, it's getting heavy, I'm going to get deeper in the next video, we go to E, the five chord, now we, I told you to play the Mixolydian mode, yes, now if you want to do like some riffs and some solos, if you're going major, Dorian, Phrygian, on the B, okay, now, we're on the D now. We are going to play Mixolydian. We go to E. Try playing the minor scale. E minor, Aeolian. Because it, that is E, F sharp, G, A, B, C. You got your, both your blue notes again. G and C. So you can use on that E major chord the minor scale. It works phenomenally because what you're doing is you're playing your both your blue notes and staying in the key of A. Here's your G, E minor. Play that on the five chord. Again, it has to do with your blue notes. You want to emphasize those, the G and the C. All right. So the 12 bar blues, I rec wholly, totally recommend knowing number one knowing that the one four and five chords if you don't know what those means they're in my book or learn it from somebody those are the chords you use the modes you want to build around your bass line for the chord we're responsible for the they're, they're dominant seven chords implied they could be someone they could play basic but again you could put the flat seven in there and make it a dominant seven as a bass player mixing it on the one mixing it on the four mixing it on the five those are your main modes so you're using one mix one mode on all three chords that's huge. Uh, know it. Okay. John Falstrom, I'm going to take a little break. Uh, heavy stuff. Again, know this stuff. And if you don't know it, hopefully you'll bump into it. It's there whether you like it or not or know it or not. Why not know it? All right. That's it for now. See you in a bit. Thanks.